all right guys wes here welcome back to the channel today we're going to talk about the future of hogwarts legacy as you know this game was a phenomenon that dominated the sales charts and is one of the most selling games of 2023 but where do we go from here from the prospect of dlc to the release of the game on nintendo switch to the inevitable hogwarts legacy 2 but the biggest question that we all have is where does the game and franchise go from here i'm also going to go over the latest updates and news regarding hogwarts legacy so check the video chapters to optimize your experience get your wands at the ready and let's get started so if you haven't played Hogwarts Legacy yet one of the main reasons you might be holding out on the game up until this point is either waiting for the Switch version or even a possible paid expansion there was a ton of hype around a possible DLC for Hogwarts Legacy and with how successful the game was it seemed like it was very easy for Warner Brothers to make some extra cash but surprisingly there still hasn't been any formal announcement of a paid expansion nor have the developers confirmed that they have plans for one during the launch window the devs stated that they weren't working on an expansion for Hogwarts Legacy and since there has been virtually no statement from Avalanche since then I think it's safe to assume that their sites are set on a sequel rather than any kind of major content expansion for the game I hate to be the bearer of bad news but the reality of the situation is that we're probably not going to get a major expansion for Hogwarts Legacy because Warner Brothers would rather the team get started on a sequel as soon as possible as well as of course get the Nintendo Switch version of the game out and from a business standpoint I guess I can understand that but that doesn't mean that I'm not really disappointed that there probably won't be any expansion for the original game because there's so much more that they could have done the common theory is that Warner Warner Brothers wants Avalanche to take all of the effort that they would have put into an expansion and instead use it to get a head start on Hogwarts Legacy 2 or the sequel and according to a recent job posting at Avalanche Software it seems like the game is already in pre-production the job listing was for a software engineer and a part of the listing reads when we say the stuff dreams are made of we're not just referring to the world of wizards dragons and superheroes or even the wonders of planet earth behind WBD's vast portfolio of iconic content and beloved brands are the storytellers bringing our characters to life the creators bringing them to your living rooms and the dreamers creating what's next avalanche software a division of warner brothers games inc seeks a software engineer to join our talented team as a member of our studio's engineering team you will collaborate with designers artists and other engineers we are looking for candidates with the ability to quickly learn new platforms and technologies we use many different technologies for our products and while we don't expect you to know them all immediately we look for candidates who can learn quickly and be proficient with them so while the listing doesn't explicitly state that they're working on a second hogwarts legacy game the wording certainly implies that they're looking to be making more Harry Potter themed games and since they're looking to expand the workforce it's very safe to assume that they are already doing something for Hogwarts Legacy 2. As much as I love the fact that WB Games gave them as much time and space as they needed to get the first game done I'm thinking that Avalanche Software doesn't want us to be waiting that long for another game and it's very likely that the sequel will be in production for a much shorter length of time than the original. Remember Hogwarts Legacy was in development for roughly six years and with how much it destroyed the sales predictions WB Games likely wants them to expand the team for the second game to make it bigger better and faster now as for what the story of the next game will tell your guess is as good as mine while some have suggested that it could carry on from where the first game ended I don't know if I agree fully so much of Hogwarts Legacy's experience was your first time you explored Hogwarts and the surrounding areas there was so much enchantment in the way the game world was created and for longtime fans of the Harry Potter IP it was worth the price of admission on its own however with the sequel Avalanche wouldn't be able to get the same feeling of discovery a second time if they set the game within the same time time period as the last one the Harry Potter universe is extremely large and there are tons of different time periods that could be utilized and that would allow them to make some sweeping changes to the open world map even if they're not about atmosphere and technology as opposed to the exact layout of the world because obviously most of the major points of interest would be the same personally I would love to see the time period jump to the years before the first Harry Potter book so we could possibly see the rise and fall of Voldemort for the first time with the goal of experiencing the whole situation from the perspective of a random student watching their world fall apart another possibility is that avalanche software and warner brothers will grab the actors of the upcoming hbo max show and use them to tie the next game into the original timeline or rather the new version of it that way whenever a new season of the show came out and introduced us to a new version of each of the seven books avalanche could update the hogwarts legacy map with new quests and items that correspond to new seasons you wouldn't necessarily play as the core cast of harry ron and hermione but instead you'd be a random student whose story happens to cross over with the main plot from time to time basically immersing you in the universe as it unfolds it's a pretty tall order but i think it would be an awesome way for both new and old fans alike to experience the stories of the seven harry potter books in a brand new way this is obviously just an outlandish theory that i have the likelihood of hogwarts legacy 2 is they're just going to continue the game where the previous left off when it comes to map changes though for hogwarts legacy 2 the team has a pretty solid spread of options for new locations many fans have asked for the inclusion of diagon alley nocturne alley as well as an interactive version of the leaky 
cauldron go to king's cross station where platform nine and three quarters is and of course take the hogwarts express but i think the biggest change that avalanche could make is an entirely different school we've all been calling the sequel of hogwarts legacy 2 but who says it has to be hogwarts there's obviously not just one wizarding academy in the entire harry potter universe and they largely get forgotten due to the importance of hogwarts so if avalanche really wanted to get crazy they could create one of the first visual representations of one of the other academies however i don't think that's very likely because the game is called hogwarts legacy they wouldn't be able to effectively tie it in to hogwarts legacy for the marketing and ultimately i don't think wb games is going to want to risk that at all maybe a dlc could happen in the future for other wizarding schools but the sequel is almost certainly going to be another game set at hogwarts the only real mystery is the time period now even though the map will be largely the same there are a ton of new features and events that could be added to the sequel to make it an evolution of the first game many data miners have found references to scrapped companion system in the game files on pc and i know i'm not the only one who would love to see that system get expanded upon the harry potter story has always been told by a group of friends so being able to have your own companion system or possibly even a whole party would make the next game's narrative even more interesting and immersive assuming the dialogue is written well and their ai is well programmed on top of that i'm also thinking things like the triwizard tournament and hopefully the house cup are going to make a return and sequel because they're massive events that could take a lot of extra time to program well and overall just do justice to them which is why i believe they were held off from the first game obviously the hogwarts legacy team knew all about these things but they likely wanted to be absolutely sure that they were able to do these events justice which would be incredibly hard since they were so massive and the game was already a huge undertaking for them now that the core framework of hogwarts legacy is locked and loaded i think things like the triwizard tournament and house cup are much more likely to be added in and i'm absolutely expecting both of them to be added a part of the eventual sequel but only if it makes sense to the game world a lot of fans were hoping that hogwarts legacy would have some kind of morality system and while it's not like the game didn't have any choices there obviously wasn't anything close to what we were all hoping for i know i wasn't the only one that was hoping that there would be a really detailed reputation and morality system that would change the outcome of the story and unlock different abilities and quests depending on who you make allegiances with and data miners have even found some kind of reputation system that was originally in development but it was scrapped during the production most likely due to time and it's not clear if it was actually finished or not it's also not likely that this reputation system was even close to the thing that we were all kind of hoping for but i'm thinking that that will also be addressed in the sequel now that the team at avalanche has a hand on the world that they've created what if hogwarts legacy came out using various curses or committing certain actions would hurt your reputation and tempt you to go to the dark side and eventually changing the outcome of your entire story and likewise what if a more pacifist run had special missions and abilities basically we want hogwarts legacy 2 to be harry potter new vegas now as for one of the big questions and that is when we're going to see this game i don't think we should be holding our breath for a release or reveal anytime soon and i don't think the game is going to be revealed until 2025 at the absolute earliest but more likely it will be shown off at one of the summer showcases in 2026 but even then that might be still too early the release will likely be a year and a half or maybe two years after the reveal so that would put hogwarts legacy 2's release date generously in late 27 or early 28 but that's also assuming that development goes smoothly and there aren't a bunch of pushbacks like last time which i imagine will be greatly helped by the fact that this game is likely being developed for pc and the ninth generation consoles and hopefully won't have to suddenly add two more platforms in the middle of development that is unless the rumors are true that the ps6 will be out by 2028 but until we have confirmation for that i'm assuming hogwarts legacy will drop early 28 and 2029 by the absolute latest but yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up with this video what do you guys think about the future of the harry potter ip are we getting anything else from the harry potter ip in the future or is our only hope gonna be hogwarts legacy 2 as well as the new quidditch champions game be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel with your notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any future content thank you all for watching this has been wes and i'll talk to you guys in the next video